Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Cabelli School of Business Graduate Diploma Ceremony at Fordham University. We extend a special welcome to those joining us virtually. The start of today's academic procession has begun with the traditional ringing of the victory bell. The bell was presented to Fordham University by Admiral Chester Nimitz as a memorial to the Fordham alumni who died fighting for their country during World War II. The ship's bell is from the aircraft carrier Juno, which served in the Pacific before it was silenced by an aerial bomb at Saipan. The bell was first rung at Fordham by President Harry S. Truman on the occasion of his receiving an honorary degree in 1946. Leading today's academic procession is Dr. Barbara Porso, clinical professor and associate dean of graduate studies. Dr. Porso is carrying the Gabelli School of Business Verge. Amaka Iona Egberin, a member of the class of 2022, is carrying the Gabelli School of Business banner. Next in the procession, are candidates for master's and doctoral degrees from the Gabelli School of Business. The school traces its roots to the School of Accountancy, which opened in 1920 in Manhattan's Woolworth Building. Fordham launched its Graduate School of Business Administration in 1969, and in 2015, the university unified its undergraduate, graduate, and executive level programs as the Gabelli School of Business. Candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Professional Studies and Doctor of Philosophy are wearing custom Fordham academic robes. All master's degree candidates are wearing traditional black academic attire. Today, we will celebrate 720 members of the Gabelli School of Business Class of 2022. Fordham degrees will be presented this afternoon to 20 military veterans. Veterans who are candidates for degrees are wearing a medallion on a yellow ribbon, a symbol of Fordham's gratitude for their service and of the university's ongoing participation in the post 9-11 GI Bill Yellow Ribbon Program. Fordham salutes all U.S. military members, veterans, and their families, especially those who are here with us today.
Next in the procession are members of the faculty of the Cabelli School of Business, the administration of Fordham University, and members of the Board of Trustees. And now, please welcome this afternoon's honorary degree recipient, Mandel Crawley, Managing Director and Chief, Chief Human Resource Officer at Morgan Stanley. Mr. Crawley, a member of the Gabelli School of Business, Class of 2009, is escorted by Dr. Francis Petit, Associate Dean of Global Initiatives and Partnerships and an adjunct professor at the Gabelli School of Business. Mr. Crawley will receive an honorary doctorate of humane letters and address the class of 2022 this afternoon. At the end of the procession are the Dean of the Gabelli School of Business, Dr. Donna Rapacholi, and the university's president, the Reverend Joseph M. McShane of the Society of Jesus. And now, please welcome Dr. Barbara Porso, Clinical Professor and Associate Dean of Graduate Studies, our Master of Ceremonies for the 2022 Gobelli School of Business Graduate Diploma Ceremony. Welcome. Our weather is much more delightful than it was on Saturday. Good afternoon and welcome to the Gabelli School Graduate Diploma Ceremony. It is my honor to introduce the invocation which will be delivered by Rabbi David Kalb of the Jewish Learning Center of New York. Please stand and then remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. No, no, no. Okay. 
Congratulations to everyone. The first business deal ever in history, certainly if you were discussing real estate, a construction project, at least from the perspective of the Bible, was the Tower of Babel. As the story goes in the book of Genesis, chapter 11, the people in those early generations of the earth essentially engage in city planning and erect a skyscraper. As it says in verse four, come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens. This is viewed as a sin. Why? Many have argued because the builders were trying to enter God's realm, which demonstrated a lack of respect to the Lord. I would like to suggest another answer. Their transgression was that they used their pursuit of technology only for their own aggrandizement, not to improve our planet. Did they build hospitals, schools, or facilities for the poor and the hungry? No, their architectural masterpiece was only for the edification of their own egos. Their punishment for this is that until this point, they all spoke one language. After their wrongdoing, they all conversed in different languages. In other words, they could not communicate. As a result, they could not accomplish anything. The tower and any other venture ended. Very similar to what is tragically going on in this country today. Even when we know the same language, we have lost the ability to communicate with one another anymore today. And consequently, we find ourselves in so many places in life in a stalemate. So my blessing to all of you graduates on this amazing day where we celebrate your incredible accomplishment is twofold. One is as all of you venture off on your separate paths, may your success not only be measured by the towers that you build from a business perspective, but in the way you strive through your lives and through your work to make life just a little brighter. Two, that we make every effort to always communicate not just with those you agree with, but those you disagree with as well. And what you will find is that with this, you will find a blueprint to build a better world. Congratulations. Thank you, Rabbi Kalb. I am happy to introduce our national anthem singer who will be graduating today from the professional MBA program, Billy Morrissey. In addition to earning a professional MBA degree from Fordham University, Billy also holds a bachelor's degree in music and voice from Miami University. Please welcome Billy. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, 
gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. That was wonderful. Thank you. Please be seated. I would like to now call up our MBA student speaker, Jason Kritata. I suppose I should have said beloved Jason Katata, president of Student Advisory Council and graduate of the full-time MBA program. Jason, all yours. How is everyone doing today? Can I please get a round of applause for all of our graduates? <laughs> Distinguished guests, administrators, faculty, staff, beloved family members, friends, and my fellow graduates of the class of 2022, <laughs> I am deeply humbled and honored to be able to speak with you all today. This is a bittersweet day. We all want to move on to the next step, yet we yearn to hold on to the feeling of being a Fordham graduate student. Looking back since we began our business school journey, many of us met via Zoom. We were nervous about who was going to appear, on the small box in our computer screens. We did not know what to expect in terms of faculty, staff, or friends. We took a leap of faith and decided to pursue our goals of higher education, regardless of the situations that were going on globally. We decided to believe in ourselves. We were the ones who decided to bet on us. And today, I'm so happy that we did. Some of us came into Fordham University as those who wanted to pivot careers, others who wanted to gain a formal education. Were we nervous? Yes. Were we scared? Absolutely. Did we have any idea of what it meant to immerse ourselves so deeply that all we did was dream about LinkedIn premium features when we were sleeping at night? The answer is that we had no idea what we were in for when we first began our studies here. All that we knew was that we wanted to be deemed successful in the eyes of the world, our parents, our loved ones, and ourselves. Although the Gabelli School of Business has taught us an incredible amount regarding aspects such as sustainability, finance, entrepreneurship, and marketing, the most important lesson that can be taken away today is to be better today than yesterday. Fordham University, uh, Fordham University graduates stand tall and proud among a sea of others. Fordham has not only given us an incredible education, but has taught us how to be more empathetic, how to be more kind, how to focus on our business with a purpose. We have learned not to chase dollars, but to chase our dreams. We have been taught that success will follow as long as you follow your passion and by making the world a better place. Going forward, when I hear the name Gabelli School of Business, I don't just think of a top tier school in Manhattan or the one-on-one -on -one approach that helped us, uh, that helped so many of us accomplish so much in such little time. I think about the laughs that we had in the innovation room, the times we studied until midnight and ordered empanadas, or the time during our global immersion experience in London where we took over the restaurant and made memories that will last a lifetime. I can happily say that we started off as strangers, but today I'm proud to say I've gained a family. Over the course of these next, uh, the last two years, the days have been extremely long, but the years have been incredibly short. We've witnessed engagements, weddings, happy hours, tragedies. We've been rejected by countless companies, and yet we have still persevered and we came out successful. We did not take no for an answer. We were determined. We were reluctant to accept failure while resiliency ran through our veins. That is what it means to be in the Fordham family. We took the bull by the horns and we challenged ourselves not only academically, but in all aspects of life. 
Although I'm speaking here before you now, I promise that without all of my wonderful colleagues, I would not be standing here today. We came, we saw, and we ultimately conquered everything we sought out to do and more. I want everyone today to look around. Look at those sitting in front of you, next to you, and behind you. I want to illustrate that although the graduating class is the one heading into a new chapter of life today, there are so many people that have given us the love, strength, and courage to believe in ourselves even when we didn't believe in ourselves. You made sacrifices for us, for us so we could stand on your shoulders. Thank you for your encouragement, your love, your patience, and your support. To my fellow graduates, we are about to receive a degree, a piece of paper that states you have been educated by Fordham University. You worked hard. You went through countless rounds of interviews to obtain the internship, and you subsequently doubled down to earn the full-time role. However, that is not the end of our work today. Knowing Fordham, there's never a ceiling according to our standards. I'd like to challenge the idea of success and raise the bar ever so higher. Success is not a test score. It's not a job at a high-end bank, investment firm, or media company. It is not about your salary. It is about who we are as individuals. It is about being better today than yesterday. Ultimately, it is about happiness. I challenge you all to continue to question those who set the rules. Challenge aspects of life that others don't dare to challenge. And make your mark on the world as we set out to embark on the first day of the rest of our lives. Don't settle. Don't be complacent. And do not accept mediocrity. Just as I can say that our cohort and our school thus far has been successful and has absolutely been the best that we can be, I challenge you all individually to be the best that you can be as we progress into the future. We have learned to partake in business with a purpose, and I encourage each and every one of you to live your life with a purpose. There should be no such thing as good enough in our vocabulary. We should aim for greatness, just have we had in the last two years. From the words of our own Dean Rapacholi, treat everyone the same that you want to be treated. Be compassionate. Display empathy to all those around you. Embody our Jesuit values, not just for academics and for professionalism, but even in your personal lives as the future progresses. Not all aspects of our lives will consist of happiness. With great moments comes difficulty as well. Don't just imagine what your future holds. Personify your values and make change when it is necessary. Regardless of what city you move to, what position you get promoted to, or whatever you choose to do after this day, remember that you will always be Fordham strong. Your experiences at the Gabelli School of Business here have given you the tools to grow and succeed. Rest easy knowing that Fordham University and your peers will always have your back. I want to illustrate that the most important people in my life are sitting in the audience today. Uh, to my intelligent and beautiful fiance, Manisha Bojwani, thank you for supporting me the way you have. Thank you for believing in me in times of success and peril. Thank you for never giving up on me even when I was ready to give up on myself. You inspire me to challenge myself every day and I look forward to continuing that challenge as we forget, uh, progress together towards the future. To my wonderful sister, Juhi Gurtada, I'm proud to say that I have a younger sister that I can look up to as you have taught me what it means to truly be resilient. Folks, give it up for my incredible sister, Juhi Gurtada, who is currently pursuing her doctorate of pharmacy at Binghamton University. Give a round of applause for my sister. To my incredible parents, mom and dad, you have shown me not only how to be a leader, but you've also taught me what it means to work hard, give it my best, and continue striving for success in each part of my life. I'm blessed to not only have two incredible parents, but I've gained a second mother and family when I asked my incredible fiance, Manisha, to marry me. Thank you for your faith and your support. Without each of you, I wouldn't be standing here today. It has been my absolute honor and privilege to be your Student Advisory Council president this year and to be a part of the Fordham community. Thank you all for giving me the most incredible experience of my life. To the Gabelli B School of Business class of 2022, congratulations and welcome to the beginning of the rest of your life. I would now like to call up our MS student speaker, Aaron Martins, of our... Aaron is in our MS in Global Finance program, and he will deliver his remarks.
Thank you, Jason, for that lovely speech. It was very heartfelt. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor and a pleasure to represent the MS programs at Fordham today. First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone that helped put together our commencement. To the administration, faculty, and staff, thank you for recognizing and celebrating our achievements. Thank you also to our professors who took theory and showed us the real life applications of what we were learning. You built your curriculum to help us achieve our highest potential. You created an environment that fostered growth and challenged us to think critically, ethically, and purposefully. Thank you to our mentors for showing us the different paths that we could take, never telling us which one was the best, but giving us a guide for our future that we would build on. To our families, loved ones, partners, and spouses, thank you for your endless support. You gave us all the encouragement that we needed to keep going after a difficult test, a ninth draft of an essay, or even the nudge we needed to join a 7.45 a.m. Zoom class midway through the semester. For those of you that are here today, I can see how proud you are of us. But most importantly, thank you to the graduating class of 2022. Your presence here shows us all your commitment and dedication to enhancing your education and skill set. A lot of us started our programs in unprecedented times in the middle of a pandemic. We showed that we will adapt and overcome whatever life will throw at us. In difficult, uncharted territory, we are still focused on our goals and aspirations, ready to keep moving forward. To my fellow international students who traveled thousands of, hours, thousands of miles and hours away from home in search of the next part of your academic career, it takes courage and willpower that words cannot describe. I commend you for taking on the uncomfortable and proving your success here today. Our time together may have been brief, but it is certainly not the end. The friendships, relationships, connect connections, and network that you have nurtured over the past two years will last for a lifetime. Our classmates and peers will always recall fond memories of virtual and in-person events, grinding out assignments in the training room, and walking down the corridors of Lincoln Center. We embodied the phrase cura personalis and adapted that into helping others. We witnessed MS programs lifting up other MS programs, student clubs lifting up other student clubs, and best of all, students lifting up other students. Fordham is truly a community built on empathy, trust, and respect for your peers. We have reached the culmination of our education at Fordham. This may be the end of the chapter, but the book is far from over. As we navigate the next part of our lives and careers, I ask that you continue to lead with respect, integrity, and morality. Celebrate all of your achievements, no matter how big or small. Go forward as thoughtful leaders, making impactful and purpose-driven decisions in an ever-changing world. Now more than ever, we need to add a little bit of Fordham into our professional and personal lives. The esteemed class of 2022, I wholeheartedly congratulate you for everything you have accomplished. I wish you all the best for the next part of the journey, and I look forward to what the future has for all of us. It is a privilege to be graduating alongside you. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. I would now like to welcome Donna Rappaccioli, Dean of the Gabelli School of Business. Thank you, Barbara. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It truly is a joy to be here with you to celebrate. I want to welcome all of you, the family, the friends, the son, <laughs> our Gabelli School faculty and staff, Fordham alumni, but most importantly, to you, our graduates. Today, we recognize your diligent, creative, and purpose-driven work in the study of business. I want to ask all the graduates to stand up so that we can recognize them and cheer them. Graduates, please stand. We'll have to do that again at the end because it wasn't enthusiastic enough for me. But you can sit down. It's clear by the caps and gowns you're wearing, by the pride in all of your guests, 
by the look of satisfaction, even relief, on some of your faces, that you have done it. Well, what exactly have you done? You've traveled the world on the full-time MBA global immersion to London, the EMBA trip to Ireland, and on trips of your own. You organized more than 120 club events in just the last two semesters. You planned and executed important conferences, the Fordham Women in Business Conference, the, gra Woo, yeah. the Graduate Marketing Conference, Trending in Finance Conference, the Net Impact Conference on Reimagining Capitalism. These are just a few. A group of you won the Mindshare Advanced Analytics Hackathon. Congratulations. And this class embraced diversity, equity, and inclusion in your student events and in so many of your interactions on a day-to-day -day basis. I have no doubt that your graduation will set the stage for further excellence. That's not to say that everything ahead is going to be easy. You will experience challenges. You will have tough days at work. Things may not happen just the way you want them the first time. But I'm confident that you will succeed. And this is because you all have a special trait, which is a hallmark of Fordham alumni. Some people describe it as grit, but I much prefer to use the terminology of one of our alumni who graduated in 2011 with a bachelor's degree and in 2014 with her MBA. Carolyn Dalgrain, the director of Global Consumer Insights for the famous luxury brand Tiffany & Company, calls this trait strategic persistence. What does that mean? Carolyn says it's that Fordham graduates are scrappy in the best possible way. You don't expect anything will ever be handed to you on a silver platter. Instead, you're go-getters, you are solution finders. You know what you want, and you come up with the plan to get you there. As Carolyn says, Fordham graduates don't come in feeling like we're entitled to anything. Instead, you work hard, you deliver innovative ideas, you solve problems. In her role at Tiffany, Carolyn has helped to hire many Fordham alumni. For her, their strategic persistence manifests itself in a super positive attitude. The willingness to go not just one extra mile, but five extra miles. She calls it the ability to MacGyver their way into things. Who remembers the TV show MacGyver from the 80s? I bet some people in the audience. It's now a verb in the dictionary if you look it up. MacGyver means to make or repair an object in an improvised or innovative way, making use of whatever items you have at hand. Father McShane is famous for this. He turns nothing into something to make our university great. If you haven't seen the show, MacGyver was a good guy, and he made the impossible happen. He escaped from captivity with twine and a match. Just as an aside, my personal favorite MacGyver activity was when he used egg whites as a radiant sealer to get a vehicle going. Anyway, what Carolyn is saying is that Fordham brings out something in us that allows us to make something out of nothing, even when it seems like it's impossible. So I encourage you to use that strategic pers persistence, to have a brilliantly positive attitude. Be willing to try new things. Take on things that might seem a little bit out of reach. There will be situations where you'll be thrown into the deep end and feel uncomfortable. But go for it. You will learn how to swim really fast. Before we move on with our ceremony, I want to share one other thing about Carolyn that I really appreciate. In her job, she gets many emails from Fordham students and alumni. You may have emailed her. They email her about their interest in the luxury sector or Tiffany or just about their career. 
And over the last 10 years, she agrees to meet with every single one of them. So as you take on this new role as part of the alumni family, you're now in a position to help others. So maybe it's an undergraduate that reaches out, or an MBA student, or an MS student. Answer their email. Give them your words of wisdom. We'll only be successful in building our alumni network if we all participate. I'm confident that as you emerge into the business world, you will be strategically persistent. You will make things out of nothing, and you will succeed. I'm grateful for the honor that you will bring to our school. Congratulations to the class of 2022. It is now truly my honor to introduce the president of Fordham University, the Reverend Joseph M. McShane of the Society of Jesus. Let's give Father McShane a super special round of applause. This is the last diploma granting that he will preside over as president. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Robert Choley. Uh, MacGyver, huh? If I had said MacGyver, people would say, oh, Father, you're dating yourself. If you look at the way I'm dressed, I'm the only person I can date, just putting that out there. Uh, Dr. Jacobs, Mr. Fitzmaurice, Dean Robert Choley, Mr. Crawley, members of the faculty and administration, parents and friends of the graduates, distinguished guests, and most importantly, members of the resilient, large-hearted and battle-tested class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare to send the talented, tested, and energetic members of the class of 2022 out into the world as newly minted Fordham MBAs and Masters of Science and Business, I'd like to steal a minute or two to thank the members of the faculty for all that they have done for our graduates. And I've asked the faculty on the terrace now to stand Faculty have served as mentors and wise guides to our graduates. And stay standing. This is your wake. They have served as mentors and wise guides to our graduates in all that they have learned and done both in and outside the classroom. Most importantly of all, however, they have become role models who have shown our graduates what it takes to be men and women of character, conscience, competence, and compassion in the world of business. Therefore, on behalf of our graduates, I'd like to thank the faculty for cherishing and challenging the members of the class of 2022. You may be seated. I would also like to thank the families of our graduates, and I'd ask you to stand. That's it. As our graduates know far better than anyone else, this is their graduation day as well as the graduation day for our graduates. After all, they supported, cheered on, put up with, and loved the graduates to this moment. I, for my part, have to say I'm deeply grateful for all the tuition checks that you sent in. And so families, take a bow, and students, tell them how much you love them. Please be seated. The graduates did tell me they were going to pick up the tab for dinner tonight, so you're going to have a great evening. On behalf of the uh, faculties, I would also like to uh, thank Mr. Crawley for agreeing to be our speaker this afternoon. A proud native of Chicago, he received his bachelor's degree in economics from Northeastern Illinois University and his MBA from Fordham. Welcome home, Dr. Crawley. He also confessed to me that he's a Sox fan. No, the good Sox, not the ones from Boston. Hey, hey, hey. I like them Yanks. He has held a number of executive positions at Morgan Stanley, including serving as the head of its marketing, marketing division and its division of wealth management and business development before assuming his present post as the head of its human resources division. 
His heart has led him to serve as a member of the boards of Covenant House and the National Boys and Girls Club. I know that you will agree with me uh, when I say that we are deeply honored to welcome him back to Fordham today, to have him as our keynote speaker, and to bestow upon him an honorary doctorate, the highest honor that the university can give to anyone. Finally, Dr. Rappacholi, could I ask you to stand here? And uh, Mr. Malici, would you join us? I would like to thank Dean Rappacholi for her simply extraordinary record of service and accomplishment in the course of her 15-year tenure as the Dean of the Gabelli School of Business. She has led the school with vision, energy, devotion, and love. Yes, love. In the process, she has transformed it and made it a leader not only in New York and American business education, but a leader and trailblazer in international Jesuit business education. Therefore, my dear friends, I think you would agree with me when I say that we are all in her debt, the debt that is so great that we could never adequately thank her. Donna, you will be missed immensely on behalf of a very grateful university, not only a grateful Gabelli school, on behalf of a very grateful university, I wish to bestow upon you the first ever Magis Medal, which recognizes the excellence of administrators who devote themselves to building up the student body and the faculty and advancing the cause and the mission of the university. She didn't have a clue about that one. And now on to the class of 2022. My dear friends, congratulations on completing your course of study in the Gabelli School of Business. On behalf of the entire university family, I would especially like to congratulate those graduates who will receive their degrees with honor or who have received special awards for excellence. My dear friends, let's be honest. As you've already heard from your student speakers, your time in graduate school has not been an easy one. Now, how's that for an understatement? The scourge of COVID-19 gripped the world and sent it reeling. The American epicenter of the pandemic, New York, was especially hard hit. And if you're anything like I am, I think you would agree with me when I say our hearts ached every day as we read of the immense losses that our city sustained in the early months of the pandemic. Offices emptied out and both businesses and educational institutions were forced to go about their work remotely or in hybrid fashion. The great resignation followed. Supply chain issues disrupted both national and international commerce. The nation's political landscape became and remains painfully divided and polarized. The long overdue national reckoning with racial inequality and injustice unfolded and challenged our country to engage in a necessary examination of conscience and in a sincere attempt to make us like the more perfect union promised in the preamble to the Constitution of the United States. Oddly enough, during these or those fraught times, unemployment fell and the market soared. For me, an incomprehensible situation. And then, and then Russia recklessly, cruelly, and without any regard for international law, invaded Ukraine and the whole world shuddered. The markets began to gyrate. Fears of inflation sent economists and governments to their drawing boards to see if they could bring greater stability to the world economy. And you? You? Well, your studies were affected by all of that. How's that for another understatement? And how could they not be? After all, you found yourselves in graduate business programs to take on, preparing to take on a world and a global economy at a time when both of them were seriously out of joint. Therefore, my friends, I would imagine that you found yourself studying and examining economic issues with more than a purely academic interest. As a result, your studies were particularly challenging and they were urgent. How challenging? Very challenging. After all, in the uncertain times in which you found yourselves, the whole economy, economy that seemed to change and pivot on a dime and with the speed of life, became a case study for you and your classmates. Yikes, 
You didn't sign up for that. You didn't expect it. No one saw it coming. Therefore, I'd be willing to bet that both the way in which you had to pursue your studies, that is to say remotely, and the whole economy continued to challenge you. As a result, I would also be willing to bet that there have been times when you found yourselves wondering when or if the roller coaster ride on which we find ourselves will come to an end. In fact, I would also imagine that you have found yourselves studying the markets very closely, very feverishly, well into the night. And yet, and yet, you persevered. You soldiered on. You may have been a bit battered along the way by all that you saw and had to deal with and by all the challenges that the world threw at you in the course of your studies. But all of you have come through as the very kind of wise, resilient, principled, savvy, strategic, visionary business leaders that the world so sorely needs. As you go out into the world, I beg you, I implore you, never forget what you learned here. Namely, that creativity can run amok if it is not tempered by principle. Therefore, look around yourselves. Whom do you see? You see your families, who have instilled in you a strong set of ethical principles and who have dreamed you to this moment in your lives. Now look around again. Whom do you see now? You see your colleagues and your classmates. Look at them closely. As you do so, you will see that both you and they are wearing robes. Look again. You'll also notice that around your so shoulders you now wear a hood that is lined in maroon and white, the colors of the university. With that hood, my friends, Fordham claims you as one of its own. But what does that mean? It means simply this. Fordham announces to the world that you are not just any MBA or Master of Science in Business. Rather, you're a Fordham MBA. You're a Fordham Master of Science in Business. But what, again, what does that mean? It means that the university announces to the world that you are business graduates with a difference. The hood should also serve to remind you that Fordham business graduates are and are expected to be women and men whose lives will be forever marked by character, by competence, they're smart and savvy, conscience, they have strong moral compasses, compassion, they care deeply about others and are determined to build a more just economic system and a deep commitment to the cause of the human family. In other words, my friends, while we rightly celebrate you this day, we will forever remind you of the need to live your professional and personal lives with a saving sense of balance and creativity, of principle, of vision, and of ethics. If you do so, you'll be able to take on the great work of recalibrating the economy so it is marked by a proper reverence for the lives, dignity, and dreams of all God's people, everyone in the world. Now, with the modesty that is characteristic of all Fordham graduates, you may beg off and say that the task I have set before you is altogether too much for you to shoulder. Well, I disagree. And I disagree strongly with you if you say that. You've tried to beg off from this great task. You're more than equal to the task. You are, after all, men and women of Fordham, which is just a shorthand way of saying that you are men and women of discerning wisdom, creative vision, and strong moral and ethical bearings. Therefore, I am confident, I have faith in you, strong faith in you, and I believe that you will do the world a world of good at a time when your gifts and talents and vision are sorely needed. You will do the world a world of good. You will do the world of business a world of good. May God prosper the works of your hands and bring you joy and satisfaction every day of your lives. And now, my friends, I give you homework. You came here thinking that today was just going to be a walk in the park. I'm a Jesuit. I'm giving you homework. Number one, no work today. You have worked hard. Today is a day for rejoicing. 
for celebrating, for toasting, for telling stories, and no one's going to do fact-checking. This is a day to savor. Number two, before the sun goes down, I want you to promise yourselves that you will look your families, your parents, your spouses, your fiancés in the eye and say thank you. I will know, Jason, if you don't. I have spies throughout. Tell, look at them, thank them. It's the one gift they want from you. They'll never admit it, but thank them. And follow it up by saying from the heart what the heart demands. And that is this. Don't just thank them. Tell them that you love them. This, I assure you, will be a cause for great rejoicing and even more stories, toasts, and happiness. Thank the faculty member who believed in you. Thank the classmate who stayed up with you till 3 in the morning to figure out a mystery that you had discovered in the Wall Street Journal. That's your homework. Your homework is love, gratitude, stories, and celebration. And as we say here in the Bronx, capiche? God bless you all. Thank you, Father McShane, for those encouraging words. You will be greatly missed. And may I take your advice and say we love you. I would now like to welcome our Associate Dean of Strategic Initiatives and Professor of Marketing, Dr. Lerzan Aksoy, to the podium. Each year, we ask our graduating MBA and MS students which faculty members had the greatest impact on their learning and the institution of the Gabelli School of Business. Students vote on three awards. I would like to briefly recognize the faculty winners. The Dean's Award for Faculty Excellence is given to exceptional adjunct faculty members. The winner for MBA programs is Paul Kramer. And the winner for MS programs is Joseph Zerpolo. The Gladys and Henry Crown Award for Faculty Excellence is given to full-time faculty members for exceptional performance and devotion to the school's ideals. This year's winner for MBA programs is Miguel Alzola. And the winner for MS programs is John Fortunato. <laughs> the third faculty honor, the Stanley Fuchs Award, is presented in memory of a former area chair of law and ethics who was a devoted teacher and student advocate. For MBA programs, this award is given to Alex Markle. For MS programs, this award is given to Iris Schneider. Congratulations to our faculty winners. I'll invite Christopher Fitzmaurice, Mandel Crawley, and Francis Petit to rise and proceed to the center. Reverend Father President, I have the honor to present to you Mandel Crawley to be awarded the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. A versatile executive and influential mentor, Mandel Crowley is driven by what he considers an inherent responsibility to make the world a better place.
Throughout his 30-year career with Morgan Stanley, where he is currently Chief Human Resources Officer, he has embodied the very characteristics that define a Jesuit style of leadership, self-awareness, adaptability, discernment, and a talent for engaging and empowering people with empathy and respect. Crowley grew up on the west side of Chicago. Raised by his grandparents following the loss of his parents, he found extra support in his community, particularly through the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago. He started his career at Morgan Stanley in 1992, while still in high school, as a work-study intern on a municipal bond sales and trading desk. He remained with the firm while attending college at night and after earning a bachelor's degree in economics from Northeastern Illinois University, moved to a position at Morgan Stanley's New York City headquarters. He landed his first management role at the firm in 2004 and later enrolled in the executive MBA program at Fordham's Gabelli School of Business. Since graduating in 2009, he has risen to a series of high-profile senior leadership positions through ambition, hard work, and a willingness to step outside his comfort zone. He led national business development for the firm, firm's wealth management division and was the firm's chief marketing officer for three years from 2014 to 2017 before taking over its private wealth management business. In early 2021, he was named Chief Human Resources Officer. Charged with stewarding and shaping the firm's culture, he is currently working to foster a more diverse, equitable work environment while continuing to ensure the firm's growth in a rapidly changing world. In all of his endeavors, Crowley is committed to helping others find their place and their voice, especially young people. He serves on the Board of Governors of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, and he is a former board member of Covenant House New York, which provides services to youth experiencing homelessness. He is also a regular presence at Fordham, generously offering his experience and expertise to the next generation of leaders. For his collaborative spirit, compassionate leadership, an unwavering commitment to empowering others in the Ignatian tradition. We, the president and trustees of Fordham University, in solemn convocation and assembled, and in accord with the chartered authority bestowed upon us by the regents of the University of the State of New York, declare Man Mandel Crawley, Doctor of Humane Letters and Oris Causa, and that he may enjoy all the rights and privileges of this, our highest honor. We have issued these letters patent under our hand and under the corporate seal of the university on this, the 21st day of May in the year of our Lord, 2022. Please, everybody, sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you so much for that warm welcome. Gabelli School Business Graduates of 2022, congratulations. This is a huge milestone that should not be taken lightly. I know you are incredibly proud of what you've accomplished during such an uncertain and challenging time. Thank you for the honor of addressing this great body today. I look out at the graduates and I see a significant amount of brain power, creativity, and yes, resiliency. A special thank you to the great president and father, McShane, Chris Fitz Fitzmorris, Provost Dennis Jacobs, the great Dean, John Rapacholi, and my good friend who recruited me to Fordham, Francis Petit, for this great opportunity. Shout out to Francis. It's always great to be back at Fordham. The Gabelli School of Business will always have a special place in my heart. 
It was such an influential experience for me. I was once a student during the great financial crisis, another time of great uncertainty, a uh, challenging time between 2007 and 2009. I joined the firm, I'm sorry, I joined the program at the peak of the market in August of 2007, and I graduated right around the time of the trough in May of 2009. I suspect today's graduates can relate to those feelings. I was in a cohort that represented many of the banking institutions engulfed by the crisis. Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, Citi, Merrill Lynch, Goldman Sachs, and yes, Morgan Stanley. My classmates and I relied on each other and got through that experience to, together, and I'm sure you all did the same for each other. Today, all these years later, I consider many of them to be friends who are like family. One of my closest classmates from that time is here with me today, my partner, Jacob Harb, and my better two-thirds, my wife, Allison. Yes, the world is complicated. Volatile markets, geopolitical challenges, divisive culture wars here at home, and, and, and. But I would submit to you, it's times like this when opportunities can be the greatest. You just heard a bit about my bio, and I trust you noticed that my journey was far from linear. It was quite circuitous. I started out, as mentioned, as a 17-year-old high school intern running errands for bond traders, making $5 an hour in the city of Chicago. I interviewed at that time in a gold suit, black shirt, black and gold tie, my Sunday's best. Don't judge me. I worked my way across many different parts of the Morgan Stanley ecosystem, various assignments across capital markets, wealth management, led our marketing division, and now I have the good fortune of leading our human capital function, and what a time to be in the middle of the pe people and culture space. Through my experience, I've come to manage my career with two different but related frameworks that I want to share with you today as you continue your journey. The first focuses on when you should consider making a change in your career. Graduates, always ask yourselves these four questions. Am I learning? Am I growing? Am I having impact? And most importantly, as it was said earlier, am I happy? And unless you can answer yes to all four of those questions, it may be time for you to consider doing something different. I would strongly implore our graduates to be incredibly and appropriately edgy in managing your career going forward. The second framework helps decide what you should be doing with your talents. I think about this concept in three concentric circles. The first is, am I interested in the work? At the end of the day, does it get you up out of bed in the morning? Am I energized? As the great Father McShane would say, this gets at passion. The second circle is, am I wired for it? Does it align to my superpowers? And all of you have your own slice of genius, and I would strongly encourage you to focus on that slice of genius. And the third circle is, can I be useful, have meaningful impact? In my view, this gets at purpose. So two frameworks, four questions, three concentric circles. Each of you will have plenty of opportunities throughout your career. I'm convinced of that. You worked incredibly hard during a very difficult time to get to where you are, and you now have the prestigious brand of a Gabelli School graduate. Now, I want to share with you a quote that I've always loved, and I've tried to live my life by this, even during adversity. If you light yourself on fire with enthusiasm, people will come from miles and miles away to watch you burn. I fundamentally believe that to be true. The energy and enthusiasm that you have right now, do not lose it, let it drive you. Channel it throughout what I know will be a long and successful career journey. Congratulations again, class of 2022. And as it's been said, remember that you did not get here alone. We win in life with people, your family, your friends, your mentors, 
your sponsors. In closing, despite these uncertain times of our day, every day try to remember two things. I would implore you to meditate on these two words. The first is gratitude. We are blessed. We are the lucky ones. Never forget that. In the second, as it was said, there will be hard days after today. Remember to give yourself a measure of grace, especially when those days are hard. Blessings to you. Blessings to your families. Thank you again for this great honor. Thank you for the honor of speaking to you today. Congratulations. You now know what I do. I look forward to seeing your resume soon. God bless you all. Thank you, Mandel, for your wise words and being with us here today. I'm sure our graduates will remember your remarks as they begin their next chapter as future business leaders. For more than 100 years, the Gabelli School has been engaged in business education, preparing our global business leaders, entrepreneurs, and change makers. With joy and pride, we will now celebrate the achievements of our PhD graduates, as well as the Gabelli School's Doctor of Professional Studies graduates. Doctoral graduates, your work here has advanced the Gabelli School's mission in research, teaching, and public service. We are counting on you to continue that work, to share with others what you've learned here, and to take on the challenges that we face as a society and to succeed. As you go out into the world, you will carry Fordham University's standard of excellence with you. As I call the name of each doctoral candidate and their advisor, I ask that the student and advisor please stand and come forward. At this point, Dean Rapacioli will hand each student a scroll, and then their advisor will ceremoniously place the hood on the student. Yan Han, Business Economics, being hooded by Dr. George Hong. Jun Ho Kong, Accounting, being hooded by Dr. Iftikhar Hassan. Tong Kui Tio, Strategy and Decision Making, being hooded by Dr. An Yan. We also would like to congratulate one additional PhD student and two other DPS graduates who could not attend today's event. Jitendra Aswani Finance, Yu Long Li Entrepreneurship, Jun Hong Zhang Business Psychology. On behalf of the Gabelli School of Business at Fordham University, congratulations to our doctoral graduates. We are now excited to present you with a ceremonial scroll today, which will be handed to you by Dr. Rapicioli. 
your official diploma of your degree conferred at commencement will arrive in the mail this summer. So when you open it up and don't see your name, don't panic. <laughs> Before we begin the presentation, I would like to recognize our MBA and MS students who are elected to honor societies, named to the Dean's List, won special awards, and who were recipients of the Thoughtful Leadership Certification. Please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you all for your hard work and service. Those students who have also been recognized at ceremonies earlier this month. As you sit in your seat today, you each will find a very special gift. And that gift signifies your impact on the world in the shape of a stone, soapstone ram. These rams were carved by a fair trade artisan collective in Kenya, and they symbolize your connection to Fordham and to the world. It is something that for years our graduates have received to keep on their desks at work or at home in your apartment, and these speak to the business programs you've just completed. We could have ordered stone figures from a factory but instead, we made the conscious decision to employ talented carvers a continent away who are very skilled at what they do. The ram shows us that even as we part waves, we are still part of a community. In fact, we belong to an even greater global community. And now it is with great excitement that we begin the most anticipated part of today, the awarding of the diplomas. Members of our class of 2022 have completed the requirements for a wide range of programs. Three curricula within the MBA programs and 11 masters in science programs. It is our tradition to award these, these degrees by program as each program has its own unique curriculum and requirements. Four of our esteemed colleagues will announce the names of our graduates. And I welcome Dr. Kathleen Kenan, Dr. Lani Kusin, Dr. Sarah Wu, and Dr. Dong Lee Zan. Dean Rapacholi, you have the pleasure of bestowing these scrawls, and I'd like to I'd like to ask all of you in the audience to please hold your applause until the very last student sees their scrawl. Thank you. The candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree in the full-time cohort program are Jason Gertada, Devin Zanowski, Inwan Chung, Anshul Agarwal, Arvin Ishwaramuthi, Alok Devi, Brendan John Hickey, Bradford Riley Ellis, Alexander Thomas Carter, Anthony Louis Carafiello, Lindsay Ann Spinner, Charles Tyler Citron. Charles Plissner. Elaine Jacqueline Diaz. Angel Laura Crespo. Marina Hartwick. 
Wael Awun. Linda Pachardo. Zachary Taggart Hands. Pakriti Lama. Razel Jane Yap. Sai Gung. Chen Chen. Jialu Wong. Song Lu. Jin Zhang. Mariana de Oliveira. Jessica Sherry Robinson. Felipe Scavuzu Paise. Lauren Katz. Amanda Hellman. Yanis Koprovic. Benjamin David Kaufman. Tendai John. Luke Thompson Ingalls. Caesar Vera. Trisha Maxwell. Serena Rose Cordelia Anjum. Suniti Lal. Michaela Gallic. Vendana Varsha Rambaran. Paulo Roberto Vieira de Cruz. David Mobley. Ibrahim Youssef. Leonardo Teodora Silva Machado. William Lawrence Lange Hewlett. Anthony Talpak. Andrew Roebling. Stephen Nassim Abadi. Langston Albert Ellison. Carlotta Anna Artigas Rodoredo. Olivia Robinson. Patricia Marie Moragos. Anmol Taktani. Joseph Meltz. Victoria Kalpchikova. Aaron Lesser. Ingrid He. Amaka Egberon. Sergey Cherson. Liam Zayer. The candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree in the professional program are Marissa Smith, Christian Enriquez, Caitlin Abrams Freund, Jalen Glenn, Melissa Beth Lapine, Marissa Merrigan, Brianna Hubka, Ainsley Catherine Helen Hall Harris, Suji Kim, James Kalen, Samiat Bolatito Okoya, Andre St. Clair Bruce, 
Michael Thomas Schnorr. Melina Rodriguez. <laughs> Daniela Ortiz Castaneda. Alexandra Holt. Holly Oberly. Chelsea Ace. Monami Rahman. Diana Oganian. Colleen Mary Morturano. Margaret Mary Gwen DeMarc. Madhov Kapoor. Cheska Marie Tan Dizon. William Ortiz. Zachary Mangio. Michael William Johnston, Jr. Ramiro Baldian. William Morrissey IV. Vincent Mazzaro. Jason Douglas. Eric Del Cid. Steve Medina. Lauren Welter Deutschenova. Jasmine Britton. Jennifer Dorso. Andrew Frank Tarantino. Ryan Chow. Alyssa Mim Danino. Alexander Ray Kiernan. Brendan Francis Danine. Zahura Alam. Julissa Breen. Simone Yvonne Ramos. Anuya Sharma Kandaru. Denisa Platonokova. Holly Jamison. The candidates for the Master of Business Administration degree in the executive program are Steve Kim, Patrick Vatel, Roland Jones, Hallie Susanna Anderson, Emily Penzo, Alexandra Patricia Avia, Shannon David Smith, Richard Berry, Niraj Kake, Tony Zavula, Nicola Christov, Remy Blair, Karen Mendoza, Janan Paul. Yeah! Jennifer Ashley Ovedek. Vincent Catucci. Danny Hemchand. Michael Ryan Heller. Dwayne George. Caitlin Marion Spillane. David Sundberg, Abraham Blocker, Christopher Allen. The candidates for the Master of Science degree in the accounting program are 
Ariana Kristen Calderis, who will be handed her skull by her cousin, Nicholas Malowski, who is a Fordham University's Vice President for Finance and Assistant Treasurer. Matthew Ferrara, who is a legacy of his father, Matthew Ferrara, who was a graduate of Fordham College of Business Administration in 1983. Daniela Medina Romero. Jialu Dong. Zhao Yu Meng. Rebecca Elana Rosenbaum Cabeza. Nidia Gonzalez, Fabian Ruck, Alexander Laporto, Sean Gregory O'Brien, Dylan Demacos, Anthony Michael Mondrone, Amy Boyle. Peyton Turner, Haley Moonsami, Caroline Brown, Lauren Ann Goldblum, Matthew William Jacobs, Joseph Quintal, Blake Thompson, Laura Kunkel, Patrick Joseph Bellardi, Avil Rivera, Romaine Duncan, Anthony Mercandetti, Samuel Marquise Pulat, Justine Lomenzo. Matthew Paul Tiber, Daniel Ruchalski, Jacqueline Kontoperakis, Nathaniel Medviner, Sean Blaney, Janwa Xian, Christopher Wilds. Huda Imran, Graham Ramiza, Leon De Castro Alcedo, Shanshan Zhong, Jinyi Trey, The candidates for the Master of Science degree in the Applying Statistics and Decision Making program are Roshan Matthew, Benjamin Zachary Wopi, Chen Xiaoyuan Wang, Tamara Sexman. Chris Esther Hewson, Adrian Luna, the candidates for the Master of Science degree in the Business Analytics programs are Zulima Maria Doreen Cabri, Chang Rui Xin. Yang Zi Liu, Amanda Corinne D. Gutierrez, Jennifer M. Kozala, Wenshan Li, Chen Qi Xie, Justin K. Lin. Yu Hao Xie, 
Shuang Chen Li. Ignacia Araya. Shagunik Danta. Si Yuan Su. Janine Udi. David Emmanuel Reyes. Sebastian Carvalho. Pranoy Chandran. Leonardo Luciati. Abdullah Imatians Ahmad. Theory Thunder Wu. Jia Hao Huang. Ying Ying Thomas. Anuja Ninting Ab Aipte. Asta Gupta. Owakala Kankwande. Mu Chen Zhou. Gerard J. Williams Jr. Chandi Karta. Arkshit Aurora. Aaron Eleanor McNally. Tova Gotisman. Marisa Lin Mafa. Mei Hong Li. Yue Liu. Sabrine Claire Mohoza. Oyayami Odubella. Serena M. Murphy. Maeve Elizabeth Riley. Isia Navarro Doren. Ita Ikatarina Kalashinokova. Brian Rochford. Christopher H. Tazia. Kevin J. Chavez. Rajpreet S. Sidhu. Jianyang Aquawa Chao Yi Yang The candidates for the Masters of Masters of Science degree in the Global Finance Program are Aaron Joshua Martins Taylor Austin Grant Marcus Luke Peterson. Christopher Philip Schwartz. Lashen Moodley. Michael Dennis McCarty Jr. Nazinga J. Stewart. Nia Shani. Haynes, Karina Pack, Rami R. Miliola, 
Noel Ruth Hyoran, Lucy Elisa Lopez, Luis R. Marquez, Nikolay A. Azmarikov, J. Kumar Pashutam Shiani. Imarek Chevalier, Lev Shelaznov, Nicholas James Hattis, Advinas Rubkos, Gustav Anderson, Evan. J. Manafort, Dylan Waters, Sean Ryan A. Thomas, Matteo Graziosi, Alexander Zahan, Abdullah. Gallup Mohsen Lamidi, Mana Barfakin, Priyanka D. Patio, Maria Fernanda Constila Carza, Jenning O. We, Renata Fernanda Fentias de Costa, Flavia Tom Tommy Tammy also Marulo Ikara Hamid. Neha Chowdhury, Nathan M. Black, Christopher J. Consolo, Mania Gulia, Rithik Kunapuli. Omar E. Ramirez Lamelas, <laughs> Han Wei Zhang, Hans G. Zadusak, Manuj K. Parak. Nicholas Mamakula, Ava Lamain, Shang Chen Hunt, Dylan A. Frames, Michael Milak the Second. Luis Angel Gonzalez, Gustavo A. Villanueva, Marietta Spishkova, Madeline Lussard, Consuelo. Catalina Benavati Izart, Yuan Wang, <laughs> Zixin Liao, Zirui Li, 
Hao Tong Wei Chen Chen Wei Wang Yi Jun Ni Mei Han Long Hui Yan Wang Ming Jie Huang The candidates for the Master of Science degree in the management program are Toquis Gaidi, Victoria Anna Williams, Michael Thomas Crowell Lewis, Rachel Catherine Macrita Panpino, Tanya Phillips. Abunamai Injaiza, Alice Barata Trigarli, Jessica Goldstone, Sonam Yanke, Jessica Amanda Ramos Parata. Takera A. Powell, Wilson Jean Baptiste, Lauren M. Kufferberg, Tarisani Florence Dawa, Gracia Garcia. Garcia. Eric Areola, <laughs> Sabeth Rachel Loeffler, <laughs> Jeffrey Bukowski, <laughs> Shirley Nina Boni, Marvin Thomas, <laughs> Philip Sbrar. Dong Yu Li, Alberto D. Palomo, Xiao Huang, Xiao Han, Zhang Wu, Javier Luis Lema Lopez. Toshif Miha, Nathapat Thesong, Brunella Caternell, Desiree Cologne, Ankita Kurel, Jie Chen. Francisca Marky Fain, Shad Islam, Teresa Cotto, Catherine Mary Russo, Jennifer Bula, Aubrey D. Lockett. Cody Amara Abding, Nicole Cox, Carly Ann LaBelle, Kevin W. Cummins, Amot S. Mahadik, Samaya Caricia Smith. Sophia Agathis, <laughs> V. 
the candidates for the Master of Science degree in the Marketing Intelligence program are Noah Andre Duke, Rim El Saria, Claudia Camilo Padilla, Juliana Rivera. Daniel Allison Dresser, yeah. Emily Alaco, yeah. Saiba Sabra, yeah. Neha Motiani, yeah. Marini Abeli, yeah. Martina Joseph. Zijian Zhang, Jin Xu Yuan, Hu Ning Yuan, Jing Na Liu, Wei Ya Han, Fei M. Hoffman, Eugenia Beidou. Josephy M. Larby, <laughs> Therese Nika, <laughs> Rajni Devi Logi, <laughs> Christian Poli, <laughs> Jessica Joy Jordan, <laughs> Gaia Choli. Claire M. Mar D. Martini, <laughs> Laura Da Pipa, <laughs> Elizabeth Grace Hub, <laughs> Thomas P. Nolan, <laughs> Nicole Bartusch, <laughs> Mia Elisa Disono. And Hita G. Hiradni. <laughs> Shem Bavi. <laughs> Ashna Seth. Rashni Yada. Fuang Lan Chuan. Lakshmi Sai Neha Di Hamupuram. Wen Xu Zhan. Carla Cosma. Yun Kong Yuan. Xin Zheng. Tian Qi Huang. Yi Kun Lu, Shi Ning Yang, Yi Ming Han, Hema Lorenzo Laimash Lopez, Katrina A. Valilia, Shefali Gupta. Meet Hitesh Dev, Aditya Gupta, Alexandru Maxim, Tracy Maklov, Anna Beatrice Saint Anna Aretas, Qin Tong Xie. Ziying Wang, Jian Yu Zhu, Chuang Wei La, Ying Ha Zhong, Hongsheng Wang, 
Jing Yi Li, Aaron Chen, Shan Shan Liu, The candidates for the Master of Science degree in Media Management program are Kayung Crawford. Kai will be handed her scroll by her aunt, Charmaine Thomas, who is a 1992 graduate of Fordham College Rose Hill. Stephanie Marie Albert. Melanie Ferreira Nunes. Max Bright. Yulia Rusnovska. Gabriela Achuri. Daniel Moraro. Rafael De Leon. Hanjin Sun. Harry Ortov. Carmen Fernandez, Ivana Veronica Kaladi, Nicholas Ravsky, Kevin Patrick Masorley, Idona Faki, Anita Tataj, Matthew Sharkey. Amanda Marie DeFaldo, Emily Kuenan, Jared Alexander Piandosa, Jonathan Ilson Olmez, Jorge Martinez, Deandra Marquis Carter. Daniel Bruno Jr. Ryan Remedio. Annie Ju. Bing Shan Guo. Wen Ting Ma. Chuba Ohems Jr. Chi Jun Wong. Shin Meng Hu, Jing Jin, Yi Fan Liu, Alberto Pengrazi, <laughs> Leonard Kressner, boom, boom. <laughs> Jacob Bohm. Samir Fafazada, The candidates for the Master of Science degree in the Quantitative Finance program are Abdul Fazi Baha, George T. Kleiner. Siying Ren, Kevin Zhao, the candidates for the Master of Science degree in the Strategic Marketing and the Communications program are <laughs> Jai Michael Yanis, Simona Steed. Geneva Dixon, Marjorie Lale Morris, Esther Kong, Aksa Zarman,
Daniel L. Marrell, Sloan Elizabeth Macklin, Taylor and McDonnell, Mary Kathleen Annie Flock, James Patrick Hill, Alexander Orakusi, Christine J. Ongamok, Albert Thomas Malafrante, Eduardo L. Rebra Otero, Abby Rose Sloboden. Rebecca C. Sir. Alexandra Marjorie Gates. Maria Veronica Crespo. The candidates for the Master of Science degree in the taxation program are Kyle Patrick Mack. Darren Tha, Alexis Uffer, Grace Elizabeth Wellman, Peter Licorenzos, Nicholas Pignataro, Liam Siegel, Luke McNamara, Owen Wilkins, Peter Burquest, Alexa Sackinger, Madison Carr, Amanda Elizabeth Carpey, Justin Eng, Christian Joseph Maltempe, Caitlin Rodesca, Isabel Cruz Figueroa, UA in. Candidates, please rise. Let's cheer you on. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Remember, in the words of Father McShane, visit us often, stay long, look out for your fellow alumni, we're counting on you. I now have the pleasure to invite the Reverend John J. Cicero of the Society of Jesus to come forward to give the benediction. A very short prayer before we go. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the abundance of grace with which you have endowed these graduates of the Gabelli School of Business as they now embark on a new chapter in their professional lives. We ask your blessing upon them. Inspire them with the wisdom to discern right choices. Console them during times of disappointment, loss, and failure, and direct them to true and lasting happiness through generous and loving service of others. We make this prayer always in and through your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Father. That concludes our graduation event today. Please, everyone, join us at a champagne reception outside of Hughes Hall immediately after this event. Congratulations to all of the graduates. We wish you all good health, luck, and the greatest of happiness as you move forth into the world. Thank you. <laughs>